Hey guys, what's going on? It's Andrew from AR Media. In tonight's video, I'm going to review Suspiria in 4K UHD Blu-ray. I imported this limited edition over the weekend and got it in perfect time for Halloween. Gave it a watch last night. So I'm going to give you my thoughts on the movie itself, the picture quality, if it's worth the import. Let's get to it. So Suspiria is a 1977 Italian horror movie made by Dario Argento and I am embarrassed to say this because this is a staple, a staple in the horror genre, but this was a blind buy for me. I've actually never seen this movie, I've only heard good things, and I got it recommended based on a bunch of movies I like and some specific 4Ks like The Neon Demon. So I was super excited to get this in. So Suspiria plays out like watching someone's nightmare and really what I can compare it to is the works of David Lynch and Mulholland Drive which is one of my favorite movies of all time, and something like Black Swan, you know, watching something unravel under you and just getting that sense that something isn't quite right. Now, this movie really influenced the future of cinema, but I'll get into that after. Now, this movie, you're basically watching a ballet artist from New York, goes to Germany to ballet school, and the second she gets off the airplane, you know something is up, and you're not really sure why, and it's a mixture of the soundtrack, and the eerie visuals and the colors and everything mixed together just gives this dreadful vibe, but it's so beautiful to look at. It's honestly something you have to see in person. If you've seen movies like The Neon Demon and Only God Forgives by Nicholas Winding Ruffin, you will know what I mean, where he really just washes with neon colors and he makes everything look beautiful. So honestly, if you're a fan of Nicholas Winding Ruffin or David Lynch, and I know that they were influenced by Dario Argento, he was the first. Give this movie a watch. It is worth the blind buy import. It's going to get a lot of watches on my end. Believe me, as a horror fan, this lived up to the expectations by far. Now, also, this is a limited edition, limited to a thousand copies. So you may want to pick this up sooner than later. And I'll show some pictures. It is a nice media book. It doesn't come with too many extras, but it comes with a nice packaging and a nice fold out. Next, let's get to the picture quality. So this is a new 4K scan of the movie. So that's a 4K digital intermediate, and this looks absolutely fantastic. For a movie made in 1977 with a very low budget, this movie looks phenomenal on 4K UHD Blu-ray. The detail is impeccable on here. It is very sharp. Now this is clearly shot on film, so we will get grain here, but the grain gets very much resolved. It is not intrusive grain at all. There are some darker scenes where the grain is more prevalent. That is to be expected on a low budget movie. It was shot in 1977 and I don't really fault the movie for that. It is the best presentation we're going to get in those dark scenes. The depth here is also fantastic. Separating the foreground from the background is very easy in this movie and there are a lot of scenes where you will do that and the wash of colors really helps with that. So now let's get to that. Does this have HDR? No, sadly this does not have HDR and a lot of the imports that I'm getting sadly don't have HDR but you know, I was really upset when I first heard that and I imported this, but after watching it, I must say, this is such a bright and vibrant movie with the colors that, don't get me wrong, HDR would have made it better, but it looks fantastic the way it is. The colors pop off the screen, whether it be the luscious, vibrant neon pinks, the neon blues, the neon teals, the neon greens. I mean, this movie, there is not one scene where there is not neon light. When the lights go out at night, red neon lights wash upon their face, or blue neon lights, or green neon lights. And then also I want to hit on the colors is the set designs. If you watch the first 10 to 15 minutes of this movie, the set design in the first house they get to is so beautiful. The pinks and the yellows and the stained glass windows, I'm talking these colors pop off the screen. They are super vibrant. There's tons of different nuances and hues inside of them. I do think that HDR would have benefited. I wish it was on this disc but I still think it is worth the pickup without HDR. So that's really my thoughts on the movie. I think the movie itself is incredible. I think the picture quality is very, very good. I do wish it had HDR, but I still think it's worth the import even without the HDR, especially considering this is limited to a thousand. I got number 211, so get on there if you want this. Anyway, guys, let me know how you feel about Suspiria in the comments. Let me know if you plan on importing this. Let me know if you liked it by giving it a thumbs up. Let me know if you disliked it, give it a thumbs down, and have a good night, guys. Thank you.